While age, sex, and genetics are not modifiable, many risk factors associated with chronic conditions can be changed. These modifiable risk factors include diet, physical activity, weight, and environment. Most people struggle with weight gain and loss, so today I'm going to teach you how to lose and gain weight with the calorie formula. The calorie formula is BMR times activity rate equals total daily energy expenditure. The first thing you need to do is to calculate your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate. Your BMR is the energy your body uses every day. Harvard study has shown that calorie counting is easy, fast, and simple. The formula is a relatively simple process in which a person multiplies their BMR by the average daily activity level. Let's calculate your BMR by using the Harris-Benedict BMR formula. If you're a man, use the equation on top. If you're a woman, use the equation on the bottom. Let's have two examples. So here we have Lily and the other one is Josh. Lily is a 34-year-old woman that weighs 180 pounds and is 5'8". Lily does moderate exercise per week. Her weight goal is about 140 pounds. Then we have Josh, who is 19-year-old. He weighs about 120 pounds and is 5'10". Josh doesn't do any exercise, but his weight goal is 170 pounds. So let's plug in their information into the BMR formula. Lily's BMR is 1,597.9 calories per day, while Josh's BMR is 1,570.56 calories per day. Once you get your BMR, you have to find out your activity level. There are five activity levels, so which one are you? Are you sedentary is little exercise or no exercise? Light activity is light exercise or sport about one to three days per week. Moderately active is moderate exercise or sports that is three to five days per week. Very active is hard exercise or sports that is six to seven days per week. Extra active is very hard exercise or sport or physical job or two times training. Lily's equation would be 1,597.9 times 1.55, since she moderately works out. Josh's equation would be 1,570.56 times 1 1.2, since he doesn't exercise daily. So let's focus on Lily's results first. Lily's TDEE would be 2,476.75. Her goal is to lose weight. So if 3,500 calories equals 1 pound, divide 3,500 calories by 7 days per week, which equals 500 per week. The 500 will be Lily's deficit. Lily's TDEE is 2,476.75, subtract that by 500. If Lily wants to lose one pound a week, she needs to intake 1,976.75 calories per day. Let's move on to Josh. Josh is trying to gain weight. Josh's TDEE is 1,884.67. Josh wants to speed up the process of his weight gain, so he will multiply that by two. So he would be adding 1,000 calories to gain 2 pounds per week. If Josh adds 1,000 to his TDEE, he would get 2,884.67. He would have to intake 2,884.6 calories each day for a week to gain 2 pounds. The equation is a great tool for gaining and losing weight. I hope you found it helpful in your journey to build a healthier lifestyle. Calorie intake is just a small part of your overall health. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Joey, a promoter for the Lively Help app. At Lively Health, we believe in stopping chronic conditions with lifestyle changes. I hope you find this information useful and challenge yourself to build a healthier habit. Harvard research has shown that following healthy habits can help you live a chronic condition-free life. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If you're new here, download the Lively Health app to learn more about calorie control. You can build and keep track of your 10 lifestyle habits with the 100% not-for-profit Lively Health app. Check out the links in the description for more information on calorie intake. Stay healthy everyone and see you next time.